Welcome back guys, this is Subifly, and uh, let's do this. So as I was saying uh, last previous my previous videos, and I'm making these videos um, kind of like uh, putting a video together towards the heist, or maybe just do videos that are heist videos, rather than each and every single one mission. I'm kind of sticking to the story, um, so no, no, not much of a side mission. Oh, that sounds gross. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Oh, nothing. Are you taking a dump? Why do you care, huh? The fuck is wrong with you? Uh, I got abandonment issues. I see a shrink once a week. You know, fuck you. Yeah, well, you know, nothing like meeting a bunch of creeps from the government in a quiet building for someone to grow balls. Did you see his face that last time I popped it? <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God! Asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you, you I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston? He's a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher! <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. <laughs> you. Mm. Where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, pup. What are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the slick dust of the way from me. No, oh, no, no, Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know, I already told nothing. Nothing, I don't know anything. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good flight, VIP. No, Ooh. you're a so. fucking spy. <laughs> <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. So I need to know, what did you tell them, and what did they tell you? I, I, hmm? told, them, I told them what I tell you. Uh huh. What? I. Hey. This whoa, whoa, what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You I two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 no. Because no, I'm tired no. of these fucking nitwits at the agency no. taking all the glory. Let me go. All right, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know, go for a drive. Wait, wait. Man, this is pretty crazy. Work, it looks like know, we're gonna be doing a lot. Uh, I'm not here. Torture. Oh man. It's Caesar's place, round the corner from your house. And what do you guys think for those who guys have the have the game? What do you guys think about these games so far? I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo -hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearthed this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? 
Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent 10 Look at my driving skills. Oh, I'm pretty good. <laughs> landed in a federal penitentiary. Or, or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away, the FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Uh, to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away. The second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Town. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Hey, Not now. now. I'm pretty amazed with the the quality of the driving on this um, when you crash it does a really good job at, at the damage okay 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 you sure you don't silence him just to make sure if we're silencing someone we're silencing the right someone get me another address it's like almost better than like a racing game themselves it's, they did a really good job turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani we need a new address from Mr. K Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait, what are you talking about, the wrong guy? No, who do you want? Just tell me what you want, huh, man? Ah, uh, please, look at me, please. Now, if you open real wide, I might be able to just reach right back there and grab one of those big ones. Are you still alive? So tough was it? Uh, 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 Did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. All right, moving on to a different spot. So anyway, um, this is my first Grand Theft Auto game uh, since the, I think my last Grand Theft Auto game was back in the PlayStation. Like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of him. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. Now what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my Stop! Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad, who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Town. The so Brad is dead. Yeah, the fuck. Huh. How'd that get started? So there's like multiple stories here, kind of tangled together as far as I can see. Um, so hopefully it comes out really good. So anyway, what I was saying is that, uh, yeah, PlayStation, I think the first Grand Theft Auto where I played. No, no, please, I tell you what you want to know. No, please. The anticipation is always worse. Really? Oh! 
What does he look like? I was built. I was height, middle age. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark. Okay, he's Azerbaijani. For God's sakes, look around. That enough for you? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? What do I know? You might be in Azerbaijan, for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davy. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. I, let me think. I remember. Ah! Oh, Sorry, too no. late. Trevor, show our contestant what he's won today. I remember. Oh, okay. I remember. I remember. How many volts do you think they got running through these things? Take another two. security in his heart <laughs> so what have you got for us hmm we need Trev to shake up your memory again no no no, 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 He's got beard. He's got beard. He's got pussy beard. Uh-huh. I think you're making this up. No, no, I'm not. Huh? No. Yeah? I'm telling the truth. Pussy beard? Got any beardy types at this party? Huh? Because that's all Mr. K's given us. Huh. No. You know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two bullets and put them in our Please, informant no. and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. Get out the scope. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Ah, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. Oh, he's, he's, he's got beard. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time? Just to be sure. No, please, no. Uh -huh. I told you, he smokes. That's all I know. <sighs> Nothing to complain about here, pal. This is totally legit. It's a torture. It is. My mouth. I, I would drown. Torture. No. I would drown. I got blood in my mouth. Alone. Alone. Don't you. Always by the book. That's my I know it's legal, but he can still drown. Let's get him upright. I'm alive. I'm alive. Today's lesson is about government regulation. Lesson? This is meaningless. Mr. K. <laughs> Mr. K. I don't know anything, you please. Okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He chain smokes. And he's left handed. Ah. Uh. 
<laughs> In these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes, Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Red with cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to nationals. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. Well, as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. Now I'm taking the shot. Baby, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe, could be, used to be, as a Johnny. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a racquetball <laughs> game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <coughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport. <coughs> let's go, come on. Wait a second, Mr. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. Oh, what? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go, get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. Oh, fuck's sakes. Come on, let's go. All right, now you got a flight to catch, okay? Let's get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. But these are the real sounds of Southern San Andreas. What is it about? Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you gonna hold it together? I want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 you have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home! I'm taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country, and you're gonna spread your message. I don't have a message! You're a torture advocate! Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We needed to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything. Exactly. Tortures for the torturer, or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times. We should all admit that. It's useless as a means of getting information. <laughs> Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. I am very unwell. It's me, 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 me with you. Jesus Christ, good grief. I thought we really bonded, but now I'm having my doubts. Alright, so guys, after the end of this, uh, I'm gonna end the video and don't forget to hit those likes the just to. No one drives me to the airport. What the fuck? Oh, that's where he cuts in. So I'm hoping the. Uh... Oh, I'm gonna end the video here shortly, but uh, hit those likes, guys. But my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, alright? And look, trust no one, alright? You're alone now. End really? up being a good guy. Really? Now let's go. Fuck off. I think because he doesn't like the FIB. Alright guys, thanks thanks again. Um
and don't forget to hit those likes and subscribe so makes me feel like someone's actually watching my videos so see you guys in the next one